Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sammy here, and today I'm joined by my good friend Boris. Say hi, Boris. Hello, how are you doing? My other good friend Marge is like the pro housing person. Hi. And my other friend Kristen is like really good at PvP. Say hi, Kristen. <laughs> I said hi. Oh, I didn't hear. And today we are finally <laughs> viewing the Scroll of Fortune Summer Season 3. Now, there was a bit of a delay on this, which is weird because Spring Scroll of Fortune ended prematurely, and then Pepper was still going on while that was ended, and then we had a period of just nothing, and then they gave Spiral Showcase and Beast Moon at the same time, but finally we have the Scroll of Fortune, and we're going to be reviewing that for you today. So the first one on the Tier 1, and Tier 1's entirely free stuff, we have 30 points, is 10 Spiritual Spellments, which are nice. For 60, we have 2,000 gold. We have 25 Minari at 90. At 120, we have a Gold Boost Elixir. At 150, we have a Beast Moon Seed. At 180, we have three Reagents from the Mega Reagents Bundle. At 210, we have two Doomsday Croc Timelines, which can be converted to make the Gauntlet. On Tier 2, we have 245 for the new mount, which is the Drake Hatchling. Which is a 7 day and it'll load in in just a minute. Young Drake move, Young Drake swim. Like it's like a fully. Oh wow, that is cool. It's got like a helmet on. I am excited for this one because for all of us wizards who have made it through Dragonspire, this is actually the Young Drake that you ride to get to Malastare fight. Yeah, it's like your old friend. So you remember that cutscene from the I roost? Do. I do. That is the dragon you fight, and I have always wanted this as either a mount or a pet, and I want this to be a permanent mount. I I, I think it will be. I think they're going to put it in, like, a dragon spire pack, because you saw they were making, I don't know if you saw this one, but they're making dragon spire packs. They're making uh, yeah. dragon packs. I think they might be doing, they might put this in, like, the master pack. And I think yeah, really cool. I'm hoping, and I want it. So now we have a premium item on 280, and that is two snacks from another snack pack. Nah, yeah, it's okay. And then on the back to the free ones, we have three fifteen or three common beastman agents. On three fifty, we have ten spellaments, and it looks like they are just random spellaments, but they could be elementals. There is balance in there. Is there going to be life and death? Nope, they're just elemental elements, which is fine. So then on the next premium one, we have 385 is three uncommon beastman regents. And then we have a housing item on 420, which is... Air Dales. Am I, am I crazy? This is garbage. What? 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 Like, you could literally just go to the... Someone who has... You can... But as someone who's also looked through all of this already, this ties into the theme of the Summer Scroll of Fortune. It'll make sense once we get later on, Sam. Okay. That was weird, though. So at the next premium one, we have 455, and that is Unlock the Death Crackle Mummy. So what this does is it gives you the Death Beastman Idol for the Crackle Mummy, and everything you need to upgrade it and unlock it. So that might be fun to play with if you had not already tried it. I had never tried it. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know if Kristen tried it or not. Is it any um, good? I, I've tried the Beast Moon, the Death Croc Mummy once, and I liked it. Um, I did not get to play with it as much as I wanted to that week, but I did enjoy it, so I will be looking forward to that one. Okay, that's nice. And then on tier 3, we have the free one for 495. We have 50 Minari. By 35, we have an XP boost elixir and a premium one. By 75, we have three Myth Wolf Warrior Idols. I'm not sure if that's enough to unlock the Myth creature or if it comes unlocked, but we'll find out very soon. It might just be upgraded if you already had it unlocked. So oh, when it's just the regular idol, that is to help upgrade the tiers, which if you aren't gardening the myth beast moon seeds, this will help get you the idols you need to level your form up. 
Hey, that's quite handy, actually. And then next, I lowered my volume because like the sirens are getting a bit annoying. So then next on the three tier three spot, we have six fifteen for a decathlon death and unpack. So it looks like we will be having either a death or life decathlon soon. And then for the next free the premium, which is six fifty five, we have the spiral villain sword pack. So it does appear this is where the dragon will be coming from because there's a dragon on the picture and it says you can have Grandfather Spider's Steady Raymond, Malister's Deathly Vestment, Morgant's Fiery Trappings, Morgant's Icy Trappings, Malister's Spirited Vestment, Grandfather Spider's Mythic Raymond, Morgant's Stormy Trapping, and I had seen that earlier, it looks really good, and the Drake Hatchling Permanent. So that's pretty neat. Like it has like all this cool. Oh, that is really nice. So you, if you look below magnifying, you can actually see what everything is, and it looks really nice. Especially Morgan's, I think. Like, Morgan's is probably the best one. And if you inspect the Morgan's Stormy one, you can see that they have the upgraded Spellament version of Troll. So with Troll, you can admit a summon a two-pip menu when you hit with it. That's pretty cool. And then the dragon again. I think that's, I like this a lot. And Leprechaun on the other one is upgraded as well to include the heal. Yeah. And so is Gold. Like, all of them are upgraded spellments right here. Neat. And then we have Box playing Captain Boots. So these are kind of nice. They kind of look like from Pirate 101 though. But I do like that. And lastly, on the first page in tier 3 is the last premium, which is 335, and that is the Luster's Pip Opal, which I have a lot of, and I think it's kind of rubbish, but hey, if you need power pips, this will help you. Okay, now for, tier, for page 2, hey. Margaret, if you would like to read it. Uh, it looks like the first uh, tier for the page two is a blueprint token. Um, you could just get that in the spiral scene though. The next thing and is, is Lunari, 200 Lunari. On the premium one for 825. Mm-hmm. What is steerage tickets? So what those are used for is to uh, um, craft the great Skytrain gauntlet. So you can collect these and you can craft the gauntlet without having to open up the packs or buy the $40 bundle to get the gauntlet. Oh, okay. So One thing I want to add really quick about points. that though, is that you need so many of these tickets and it barely gives you any so you're probably still going to have to buy the pack, but you won't have to buy nearly as many. Just wait, because they've been adding these in, in a couple different locations to the last two oh, Scroll of Fortunes. So if you do the Scroll of Fortune, and you have been, <laughs> you should be getting close. That's, that's also Maybe if you I buy it, though, because it's premium. Yes. The next one for 915 points is 10,000 gold, and that that one's not really good because you can just get that really easily. Uh, next for 960 points, 15 mysterious spellments. I guess that one's pretty decent. I'd say that one's fine. And, and one thing I noticed as well is they're including the Ravenwood camp camper spellments as well. Whatever that pack is called. <laughs> I don't really know which one that one's from. I don't know. I think really it's the Ravenwood Ranger pack. Packs. It was, yeah, the Ravenwood Rangers pack. So. Next one for a thousand five points. 
You have to have premium. Two spiritual retrievers. Um, that, looks, that just looks like a pet talent. It is, and it's a very handy yeah, one because if you know. use this on a pet, you can then tell your pet to go out during fights and find you spiritual elementals. Very handy. Alright, next for 1,050 points is an emote. Uh, I personally don't really think that emote looks that good. I think it looks really cool. Airplane! I think it... It's airplane. I think it looks cool, but I'm not one to use emotes that often. But I can see people doing this in the comments. I love using the premium emotes in case you can, like, I've done Skill of Fortune now several times, and I have gotten several of the premium ones, and they're honestly really good, like, Wish Come True is one of my favorites, and that's just, you pick a flower, and then you blow the flower and make a wish, that's so cute, and then Snowball Toss, that's really handy for, like, PvP, as well, like, when you you're, you want to start off a fight with a strong person, just throw a snowball on their face, like, that's really cool. And then the Let It Snow, it almost looks like the Ice Catnap ability. And all of them loop as well. I know it's pretty emotes, they get a little delayed after a while though. Like the one where you blow on the flower, I noticed that one gets delayed when you use it long enough. The animation. I will leave that up and we'll see what you're talking about in a moment. Let's continue onward with the SLF. Alright, so for tier 5, for 1100 points, you get three common beast moon regions. Um, that's really it. I mean, you could just get those easily uh, during the beast moon, because I get these all the time and I don't even do the beast moon. That is true. Next for... Next for 1150 uh, points is an airship photograph. I, I don't really think that this is worth anything because I see this all the time. I, I might even... Like, I, I never see anyone... Yeah. You can like, look that, at the that just from yeah, and it's a premium thing for some reason. Uh, for 1200 points, you get three Fire Elf Idols for the Beast Moon. For 1250 points, you get a Major Fishing Luck Elixir. I guess that one's pretty good, because that one's not premium. And it does come in handy for catching a tuna. Yeah. And for 1300 points, you get 15,000 gold. For the gold ones, you can just, you can just farm for those. And Winter Tusk, for like 10 minutes, you get the gold back really easily. That's true, but if you don't have Winter Tusk, you'd have to fish and that could take a little bit longer and it takes energy. Well, you could also just get a couch potato farm. Yeah, that's thing. true too, of course. But again, that requires you to have access yeah, like to Winter Tusk. No, you, you could get that anywhere, it seems like. Like, you could get it in Imperia, Mirage, uh, that's where I got mine mainly. I feel like anyone who well, gets the Battle could've... Pass is probably really far in the game already. Well, true, but also, couch potatoes, they do come from the box events in Wizard City, but aside from that limited time event, you have to get couch potatoes from premium areas, so that is something to point out, but I think I agree with you that it's not really worth it, at least for this little amount. Yeah, if they wanted to have gold in here, they they should have had a, given a lot more than just 15,000. 
All right, for 1350, you get 30 spell mints. It looks like it's also from the Wisteria packs and stuff. And for 1400, you get an upgrade death rock form for the beast moon. See, the thing is, I don't really do the beast moon, so I don't know if those rewards are even worth anything. I play the beast moon, and right now, with it being monster mayhem, is when you need to pay attention whether your enemies are going to be on the spiritual or the elemental, and then you want to play the opposite, so that way you're not running into any of the resistance there. Um, like I said with the other one, I have not played the Krokomami a whole bunch, but the fact that they're giving you a free upgrade, which is usually... To start out with, I want to say it is close to 10 to 15 idols and then 500 luminari. So you're getting the luminari needed and the idols needed both. So even if you don't want the idols, you have the extra luminari to upgrade whatever other character you want. I think it's a win. I think that's handy as well. I don't even like these things. All right, for tier six, for fourteen hundred fifty points, you get the Decathlon Fire Tower Pack. Uh, that's really it. For one thousand five points, you get a Marley Bone Balloon Car. That actually looks pretty cool. I believe this is going to be a housing, interactive housing, I hope anyway. Kind of like the hot air balloon housing item that you could oh, get that from would be so cool. whichever bundle it was. I have <laughs> not bundle, I think. been able to confirm if it is actually interactable and you can sit in well, it. I but I would love if it was. Well, I have the bean sock from the spring school of fortune that was on the same spot and you can't interact with that one if you hit x on it it takes you way up in the sky and it's really cool i love it yeah so hopefully it is interactable for 1560 points again energy elixir i mean energy elixir is always nice to have that was pretty good i think yeah it is, and it's I a don't free really one find too. So that often, but it is free. It's nice to have on hand during like the pet promenades or the double gardening or the double pet XP when you're really trying to grind to get something done, and you're just missing that little extra bit. <laughs> Alright, for 1,615 points, you get 10 Sears tickets. It's basically one of the earlier tiers, except you get 10 instead. And for 1,670 points, you get 20,000 gold. Um, I already went over that, basically. I think you can just easily get gold back. For 1,725 points, you get three Shining Scales. Um, Garbage. I don't remember exactly where you get Shining Scales yeah, from, but yeah, yeah. I you don't You can get that from any chest. Yeah. I don't know about that one. You get some fishing. If you fish no, in the that road, one. You get I them. wouldn't. Super common. Like, I have truckloads of them. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, I'm not paying 15,000 pounds for that. That used to be an extremely rare reagent, but not anymore. And then the last thing for 1,780 points is the box plane captain hat. Um, I can already think of a couple hats that look very similar to this one. Like the Polarian uh, hat. One of them, yeah, it's like a hat you're wearing right now. I think there's another hat that also looks like this. So uh, my balance wizard. There is, but it has bigger goggles 
on top that sit higher up on the head and is more of a steampunk vibe. This one with the boots gives off more of the old time paper. The first time planes were coming out, that old time kind of look. So I mean, it's all right, but I don't like that your hair is like not up when you're wearing. Because like some of the hats, it would be really cool if your hair was flowing down under it. But with that one, it hides all your hair. Like you pin your hair up, and it looks really unflattering. There's so many hats in this game that it would be really cool if you had your hair and if you could dye it. But uh, yeah, it's not really case for a lot of things in this game. All right, so on to tier seven for 1,840 points. We have a premiere with the Decathlon Mithrum pack. So it gives the various Mithrums needed to help boost the stuff for the Decathlon. For 1,900 points, we have 15 spellaments. And the fact that it does not state whether it's spiritual or elemental. I think it's going to be those Celestian elements. Sorry about that. Um, so that way we can get Nautilus Unleashed and everything upgraded, since those aren't dropping quite as frequently as others. And one thing I will add is um, I have been doing the Scroll of Fortune for a while now, and I actually have quite a few elements. Like, I could almost make Nautilus Unleashed and Celestial Intervention and the last one. So if you did this multiple times, like say for example, you did the last one, which we did say was garbage, but if you did it anyway and you did this one, you could probably upgrade at least a couple spells. Yeah. All right. So on to the next one, which is 1960. You get three strengthening rooms, which these are needed to upgrade um, the Decathlon decks. Um, if you are someone who is good enough at Decathlon to be able to upgrade the Hands of Fate, that is when these runes will come into effect. For 2020 points, we have a premium of three amber, like the Shining Scales. Yeah, Amber is still kind of rare, but there's so many places. There's so many places to get it if you work for it. Yeah, I would probably do Gladiator in like 30 minutes. Yeah. So King Parsley, Gladiator, King, King Parsley. King Parsley. And then the Ultra King Parsley can give you Amber. Sophia has a really good video on yeah. if you want to check that out. Yeah, that's like two or one week of grinding for something. Yeah. yeah. I would just... Yeah. All right. So for 2,080 points, we have the Triple Animus Elixir. I am one of those um, people who... I love this. I love using these. I I enjoy this very much. I love them as well. But one thing that's a bit strange about them is that they're no trade. So you have to get it on the character you plan to do the extracting on. So for me, I'm going to probably want to get this on my mid, but just keep that in mind. Yeah. I have been, when I get this high, I have been using it on my lower level wizards to create um, minion TCs. Just of like the spirits or the gobblers to help my lower level, lower level wizards. That is true. To help you them out. To crack the minion TC, you could always trade the minion TC like there's nothing stopping you from doing that Same with the house guest. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And then our next one is a premium for 2,140, and it is going to be 500 Luminari. Not the greatest, but depending how good you are at Beast Moon or how good your team is, this is a big chunk of Luminari all in one location. All right. For 2,200, we have another premium at the end of Tier 7, and it is going oh. to be what times ties in the boots in the hat, and it is the box plane captain's jacket. So this gives you, ties in 
that with that old timey hat and those boots, it gives you like the right brother vibes. I like that. All right. Now we are on to tier eight, which starts off with a another premium for 2265. You're going to get 30 of those celestial intervention spellments. So that means getting just this alone, you can unlock any of these spells if your drops are good. Like if you have good luck and you can get it, you can get any of these spells unlocked. And if you were already doing that will the give you, previous ones, you'd already have some already. So doing this will really ensure getting exactly. any of the celestial elements. Yes. Because this this one alone between this one and the previous tier will give you 45 of the 30 that are needed to unlock it. If you are lucky All right. because it gives you the now, ones. Yes. Now to tie in with the outfit that we get, we get the next reward at 2330, which is three 30 day temporary mounts of a box plane mount. So you get a cardboard paper airplane. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And I love it. I it's love it so too. Amazing. And it even matches the, the I, outfit. Exactly. They tied that one in colors. perfectly. It has oh all the different colors. I like it's like a rainbow. It's got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I love it. I wonder if that was intentional for Pride Month. I think so. With the box plane? Yeah, like it has crayon marks and just all, right all different here. colors. What is this? We're not going to question the logistics All of right. how this thing would actually get up off the ground, but it looks certainly really cute. You know, whatever works. Whatever works. We are in a world of magic. You know, right. you just expect it to work. <laughs> so the next one is a premium for 2395 and it's going to be a coach ticket, which... I think it's kind of odd because previously they had given you a number of coach tickets. Um, so I'm wondering if that's a typo. But again, this is needed to craft the Sky Train Gauntlet. Um, I think it's just the fun. next one is two, yeah, 2,460 points, a premium. You get three fire draconian idols to help unlock or not unlock to help upgrade your fire draconian in beast moon. So not bad. Because for the next one, for 2,525, you get 200 luminari. Again, a good chunk. And it's free, so not bad. For 2,590 and a premium, you get... A double pet XP for three hour elixir. And that's really handy. And one thing I will add, I say this every time about that sounds really important to say this. If you were to use this elixir on a character you don't play very often, you could train your pet with the elixir activated and then switch to a different character and then come back when your energy refills and get even more pet XP boosted. Exactly. Exactly. All right. For the last slot of tier A for <coughs> 2,655, it is a premium emote and, or the premium thing. It is unlock the death croc form. So, mm -hmm. um, I think you made a mistake. This you lets you upgrade. upgrade. I just read that. I'm being dyslexic today. Um, yes, it is a way to upgrade the death croc form. So, on so the last again, page that gives you all the, the idols. Previous page, oh, it gives you the one to unlock it, and then this one gives it to you to upgrade. Well, so the first one, um, actually, all three of them say upgrade Death Croc form. So that's three tier upgrades, which actually, that's actually really good. Unlock. 
on the first page of tier 2 it's unlock and then the second one is upgrade and then this one is also upgrade so you could probably yeah. get a pretty well so it gets you this. yeah it that means it can get you to at least tier 2 if not tier 3 real easy which that's actually really good all right so starting the last tier for 2725, we get the pretend windsock. So tying into oh, kind of the cardboard cute. theme, this shows you what direction the wind's blowing. That's kind of like it, a, it's kind of cute. Like Eiffel Tower. It's got a broom in there yeah. and a sock on it. I think yeah, it's kind of I making a weather thing. Yeah, All right, so for 2,795, you get one random elixir. This can either be really good for you, or this can be utter trash, because it is one of any elixir that they have in the shop. The last time I redeemed this on my deck, I believe I had the Aminus elixir. But you can also get the hyper elixir as it's showing here. You could get fishing luck elixir. It could be literally anything. Energy elixir. Yeah. Imagine you... There's two people dueling in the house now. I don't know where they came from. Imagine grinding that much to like only get maybe a mana elixir or something. Uh... So the last two that I have gotten have been um, the major gold boost elixir. And then I got the Hyper Elixir. But either way. Alright, so for 2,865 pre points, it is a premium. You get an entire mega, mega snack pack. I always think this is a waste, especially I mean, if you do bad, any sort of gardening. It's not bad, it's but... Kind of bad. Like, maybe five yeah. years ago this would have been and, good, but now we kind of expect more. And the fact that it's only one mega snack pack at tier 9. Yeah, like, give like, us two. Give us least. two, at least. Alright, so then we have, for 2,935 points, we have the Summer Scroll of Fortune painting to add in, which it looks like... Going with the Crocotopia theme, this one gives you the Crocus Sphinx and all of that with Niles and the Balance School. I like that. Alright, for 3,000, I like that too. I'll be excited to see it all put together. Um, for 3,005 points, you get one alternate timeline and 28 timelines. So these are used to craft the Doomsday Croc Gauntlet. So, not bad. Gives you free reagents to do that. So that way if you stock up and you don't want to buy the $40 bundle and you aren't a pack opener, gives you a way to get it. And these are transferable amongst characters. So if you're someone who buys the scroll on multiple characters... You can transfer all of these to one. And if you've done it before, I think you can use and, almost every single time since they came out now. So if you yeah. did scroll diligently, you could save up and actually have enough to make it just by doing this. Exactly. All right. For 3,075 points, a premium is going to be three one-hour double gardening mm -hmm. XP. Now, I've been stocking up on these. So this way, I can just kind of blow through them whenever I have all of my gardens ready to harvest. Because they, it seems like they're never going to give us a double gardening event. Ever. Ever. And when they did, so, they don't I stock up on these. Just get their seeds anymore. I, I don't like how they took that away. I... If they didn't want them to do it, then make it a ridiculously low spawn chance. But don't take it away completely. Like it almost All right. the and for the last... Want this in the first place. 
Well, yes and no. Like, I use it because I have, and I keep a 36 plot fickle pickle for all of your reagents that fickle pickle will give, like the stone block, the fossil, just all of it. So whenever they get um, close to Elder, I'll kick this on and I'll do the adult harvest. And then the next time I log in, they'll be Elder. So I will get two full harvests at double reagents out of it. And with this one, it gives you three one hour. You, so you can like use three of them and split them out. Yeah. Yep. All right. And for the final one for 3145 it is a teleport it is takeoff so it looks like you have a little helicopter Ooh, propeller cute. going over your head i think it's kind of cute and whimsical it's very colorful as well Yes. You pair really nice with the airplane they think you do because it would make it look like your propeller flew off the airplane during a crash. I think that'd be cute. Yeah. So all in all, not a bad scroll. I think it's one of the better ones. They definitely learned from the failure that was the spring S3 scroll, and they actually gave us like really good stuff this time. I personally will probably get it if I am able to get it. I think it's really nice. I like the plane. I like the gear. I like the housing items. Some of the stuff was like kind of rubbish, like the paintings, but the good stuff made more than made up for it, in my opinion. Teammate runs right by the There's some things that when you're looking at it, you go, I'm not going to waste my money for that. But then if you actually look at everything that is locked, and you look and think, okay, what can I do with this? It tends to outweigh the stuff that's rubbish. So I will be getting this. Marge, what do you think? Uh, there are some duds, but I think overall it's pretty good. And Boris? To be honest, it's a great, like, it's good and it does have a lot of things that I probably would come into, but all in all, I think I would just wait to buy them. Yeah, okay. That's a good point he brings up. A lot of the stuff in there you could, it's probably going to be in the clown shop a little bit later because, for example, with the Chromata Cat, that was featured in a earlier Scroll of Fortune. I can't remember which one it was, but it was in one of the Scroll of Fortunes. And it gave you three 30 day ones, and then they just put it in the clown shop for basically the same price as the entire Scroll of Fortune. So if you want to pay but more, you can like pick and choose what you want. Well, and, and here's the thing with the Chromatic Cat. They had it in the Scroll of Fortune, and then it was almost a year before they put it in the crown shop. So, so do you like want to access. wait and take the chance? Yeah, it's early access, but... Like 30 days, 91 days now. Like, it's... Well, while it's for the access, it's kind of like... Well, okay, and also so it gives them well. a chance. What was that? Something else I'll add as well is I don't I don't know if this was intentional or not, but in one of the scroll of fortunes they gave away a mount. It was a three three thirty day mount they gave it away in the scroll of fortune. And there was a glitch yeah. that happened where all three of them just expired all at once. And so KI decided, you know what, let's just give these people permanent mounts. So all the people who had the 30-day ones that just disappeared, they all got permanent ones instead. So 
I don't think that was intentional, but that is something I mean, that, that could probably happen. It is could a possibility. It also gives them, um, like, whatever piece of gear it is where the knee makes an extremely long black line that they still haven't fixed that glitch. It gives people a chance to use the th- temporary mounts and see if there's any glitches or bugs with the camera angle or how it moves. So that way they can get it fixed before they put it into a permanent mail. So yeah, I think we've summed it up. This is definitely one of the better scrolls. Not the best scroll by far, um, but it's not the worst. Not the best scroll. I'd say it's about... No. I'd say it's about as good as the... S2 Fall, if you like that one. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm probably going to get it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, and right now, for those people who are members, and they do have a double points going on right now. So, I have only done one Beast Moon match, and then one day's worth of stuff in the spiral showcase and i'm already up to 256 points so i'm already at tier two so if you grind right now while they have double xp for the points you can get really far and last time i checked if you had a membership it's half the price to buy it it's like 50 percent off it is yeah, if you are a member, it only costs 7,500 crowns to buy it instead of the 15,000. So yeah, that's all we had to say. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the screen. Bye everyone. Adios.